the presidential public lecture and Jimat prayer for the central team Nigeria Better Together provided an auspicious opportunity for renowned Muslim leaders and scholars to reflect on Nigeria, its search for unity in diversity and the challenges that lie ahead for incoming president-elect Bola Tinimbu and his deputy Kashim Shetima. Shetima accepts the challenge, saying his principal Tinimbu has what it takes and will hit the ground running. I want to reassure you that Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinimbu will hit the ground running from day one. We do not actually have the luxury of time. The challenges facing us are humongous. The incoming vice president, however, noted that the starting point may not be all that rosy and that Tinumbu will have to take some tough decisions. The starting point might not be rosy. Let me be very honest with you. The oil subsidy has become an albatross around our neck. The multiple exchange rate system is a drain on the national economy and creating a dual economic system. Sultan of Sokoto, who occupies the most important Muslim position in Nigeria, enjoins Tunumbu and Shetima to trade with caution, even as he calls on citizens to put aside their differences and embrace peace and unity at all times. We're all hopefully expecting this government to come in and hit the ground running with full steam. And we know the slogan. Delivering his lecture entitled to the unity in diversity, guest lecturer Professor Bashir Galadanchi cautions politicians to desist from using religion as a weapon to divide the people. When corrupt people find themselves in danger of being caught for their criminal activities, they incite their fellow tribesmen and religious uh, associates. Secretary to the federal government, Boss Mustafa, who represented President Muhammad Buhari, pushes strongly for peaceful coexistence among various entities in the country, stressing that Nigeria has the potential to be great and it is time to unleash those potentials. Elections have come and gone. Another set of leaders have been democratically elected to govern us. It is our duty to give them all the necessary cooperation to enable them to deliver their plans towards transforming Nigeria into the country of our dreams. With the lectures and admonitions over, Special prayers were offered inside the National Mosque to Allah to grant Tinumbu and Shetima the wisdom required to stay the ship of the Nigerian state. Omo Bazwai, Arise News.